Today we're gonna to be talking about someone's videos who I've been wanting to do a video on for the longest time now and just never did. That man is Darman. Cody Ko and Noel Miller actually made a video about him recently and that's what kind of reminded me that he exists. So let's look at Darman. Now Darman is an entrepreneur. That's about all I know about him. And he smiles a lot. And with his content, he's not really the center of attention. What basically happens is he teaches you a life lesson every video. The production quality is very high, like video-wise, sound-wise, lighting-wise. It all looks good. The dialogue, though, happens to be pure shit. And the story. It's all very base level, and the dialogue, like I said, is just so forced. Then after the awful skit, Darman gets on camera, and he basically explains the life lesson with a big smile on his face. So I picked out two of his more recent ones today that we can watch. These are just two that I thought were just fucking insane, but there's no shortage of that on his channel. I originally found him on Facebook, but I'm getting these off his YouTube channel so that it's not a fucking square. But the first one we're gonna watch is, wife wants to go on date, husband's reaction is so sad. Hey honey, do you have a second? I'm in the middle of something. Uh, What's up? Oh, uh, I was thinking, maybe we can go out tonight on a date. There's this new spot that opened up downtown that I really want to go to. Date? Why would I take you out on a date? Is it some kind of special day or something? <laughs> you don't need to wait until a special day. You can make any day special. Besides, I really want to check out this place downtown. Seriously? Why would I want to take you anywhere? Right off the bat, he's fucking laying into her. <laughs> Why would I want to take you anywhere? You disgusting pile of shit. He makes this guy so over the top mean, like he is the worst human on earth. It completely takes you out of it. Not the 380,000 people who watch this though, they, they're fine with it. Why would I want to take you anywhere? Let alone on a date? When you look like this. Holy shit. <laughs> she looks fine. There's nothing wrong with her. She's literally just wearing a sweater and yoga pants. It's not very nice. I just got finished cleaning the house. That's why I look like this. I'm not talking about right now. I'm talking about all of the time. Seriously, what happened to you? He's getting so mad that he's sweating. All because she had the gall to walk into your bedroom with a ponytail on and ask you to go on a goddamn date. Okay, you used to take care of yourself. You used to do your hair and your makeup and you'd get all dressed up and you'd be smiling all the time. Now you just look miserable. Because she's married to you. Like, look at his fucking face. He is just, that's pure hatred. This isn't like having a bad day kind of mean. <laughs> this is like you have a rotten soul kind of mean. When I see this like bad storytelling and dialogue in play like this, it it gives me a little bit of comfort knowing that Darman is probably doing all of the writing. This is not like a you pay someone to write you something kind of dialogue. Seriously, I can't do this. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, man. You busy right now? You wanna get a drink? My wife is being such a pain. Oh, man, I'd love to, but I'm taking my wife on a date. Can you guess what's gonna happen? Because I can. Not because I just watched this 10 minutes ago for this video, but because it's fucking obvious. It's this new spot downtown that we're going to. Date? Are you taking your wife on a date? A date? With your what? <laughs> With your what? Wife? It's exactly what I was arguing with my wife about. Is today some kind of special day or something? Babe, you really shouldn't have. What did you get me this time? Oh, hey, Mark. That's his fucking granddaughter, holy shit. <laughs> I didn't realize you were here. Would you like to come in? That's okay, I was just leaving, actually. Okay, well, tell your wife I said hello. Go back to you. What did you get me this time? I don't know. Open it up. I thought he was leaving. Why is he just like posting up there now? Huh. This is beautiful. I love it. You know what? I'm gonna wear it for our date tonight. <laughs> just give me a few. You see, that's the difference. Your wife is always smiling. She takes really good care of herself. My wife walks around miserable all the time and she let herself go. If I had a wife like that, I'd take her out on dates, too. Let me ask you something. When's the last time you took your wife out on a date? 
don't know, six months ago? Maybe longer. <laughs> Are you serious? So it's been more than six months since he took your wife out on a date. It's been six months since he took his wife out, yet here's this guy taking his sugar baby out on a date that night. And you're complaining because she's not smiling or taking care of herself? Well, we just haven't had any special days. Look, bro, a word of advice. You don't need to wait until a special day. You can make any day special. The reason my wife is smiling all the time. There always breaks into this narration where the mic gets way closer than it just was. Like it's supposed to be conversation transitioning into a narration, but the microphone shift is just so out of nowhere. Is because I'm always making her feel special. I try to always find ways to make her feel loved and appreciated. The reason my wife dresses up is because I'm always giving her a reason to. And because I pay her for her feet pics. There may not be anything wrong with your wife. She may just need a little love and appreciation from the man that she loves. Man, you know, you're right. I just never really looked at it like that. Thanks for the advice, man. I'm gonna go make today special. Even though he just fucking broke his wife down to an unhuman level, she feels more worthless than those erasers that just kind of make the streak marks. And now you're gonna come to her like, hey honey, uh, you know that old man I hang out with? Well, I was just talking to him and he really had me thinking. Earlier when I was emotionally beating you down, that wasn't cool, so let's go on a date. That fixes things, right? I am so sorry for the way I talked to you. It's fine. Forget about it. You mean the world to me. Here's some flowers I got at Road Ranger. From now on, I promise, I'm gonna be the husband you deserve. And I got you a little something. What is this? Open it. Hydroxy cut? Oh, wow, this dress is beautiful. <laughs> Look, go put it on. I'm taking you out on a date tonight. But what's the occasion? It's not like it's a special day or anything. Well, a wise person once told me, you don't need to wait for a special day. You can make any day special. Now before Darman comes on and tells us what we were supposed to get out of that, just like, look at the message this actually kind of sends. Not to like, break it down like that. But you've got the situation where like the husband is just totally a piece of shit to this woman. Totally in the wrong. And he has to go to his fucking old man friend, which, and he has to find out that he was being a douche. Only, might I add, because his friend's wife is hot because he treats her good and he takes her out on dates. So this guy thinks, oh, my friend's wife is hot. He takes her on dates. Maybe my wife will be hotter if I start taking her on dates. Cause right now, ugh. Like, do you see that this is just like a shallow message? Like there's a message behind this that's actually good, but the way that the story tells it, it's bad. And I know there's gonna be thousands of people like they're on YouTube, even more, hundreds of thousands of people on Facebook who are gonna see this and think, oh, that's a real man learning from his mistakes and totally just like passing over the fact that he treated her like absolute filth. I don't know, maybe I'm reading this wrong. What does Darman have to say? Hey guys, it's Dar. I hope you love that message about how you don't have to wait until a special day. You can make any day special. Now it's time to choose our $100 giveaway winner. I don't think there's a single frame of Dar Man on screen where you don't see the top set of teeth in his mouth. Now I wanna watch one more because this next one is my personal favorite. I just wanted to talk about this one because I just saw it now. But this next one is one that I watched a while ago and it's kind of similar, but it's actually the girlfriend who is just a total piece of shit. Like how the guy in this first video was the worst man on earth, this next one is gonna show you the worst woman on earth. Let's go! By the way, this one's called Gold Digger Dumps Broke Boyfriend. She then lives to regret her decision. Baby, I'm so excited. I think I know what it is. <laughs> you know how badly I've wanted this bag. I want you to have everything you want in life, babe. Wait, what is this? Kate Spade? I can't be caught wearing Kate Spade. I told you I wanted a Louis Vuitton bag. I know, but Bella, things are pretty tight right now. Baby, I promise, once my business takes off, I'll buy you any bag you want. Just have some faith in me, please. Whatever. That stupid idea of yours, it's never gonna take off. 
I won't be caught dead wearing a cheap bag like this. Anyway, I'm hungry. Let's go. Right off the bat, she's horrible, and he has a business, which will only be referred to in this video as my business. So we the viewers are able to interpret this business however we choose. I personally am going to assume he is trying to be a famous YouTuber, and that makes us harder to watch. Maybe even a TikTok star. Which, by the way, go follow me on TikTok. I make TikToks now. I'm not making fun of TikToks anymore. Just kidding, I still am going to. There's so much filth out there that it makes it so easy for me. But alongside the filth, I make my own filth now. So go check it out, Chris the James. After a few viewings, I just now noticed this. She grabs the car door like it's covered in sludge because it just sickens her the idea of her having to touch a Honda Civic, which is universally just cheap car. Like, it's not a bad car, it's just a car. This is the example of Darman just making everything so extreme, making these people just pure evil. Okay, so what do you feel like eating? So I'm craving steak and wine. Oh, um, I was thinking maybe something a little less expensive. How about Denny's? Now, I'm not knocking Denny's, but I don't think anybody craves Denny's unless it's, like, midnight. I wouldn't be surprised if Denny's didn't even open till 10 p.m., like, all the time. Denny's? Are you kidding? You're gonna take me, a girl that looks like this, into Denny's for dinner? I have a haircut and a dress, and you wanna take me to Denny's? Don't act above Denny's. Nobody is above Denny's, okay? No, come on, come on, please start. Here we go again. When are you finally gonna get rid of this junk and get a nice car? Bella, I'm telling you, once this business takes off, I'm going to be able to take you wherever you want to go. Babe, please, once I get a thousand subscribers and four thousand hours of watch time, we can get any car that we want. Babe, you are on episode 430 of your Minecraft Let's Play. If it hasn't taken off yet, it will never take off. How many times do I have to tell you that your stupid idea is not gonna work? <gasps> there we go. <laughs> please, just... Have some faith in me. Stop acting like a loser. So I really hope nobody sees me in this crappy car. Maybe he's gonna tell her that his business took off, right? Hey, babe. What is going on here? I'm excited you're here. Oh. You were able to get the back you wanted. Yeah, well, you weren't gonna do it, so I had to take care of it myself. Uh, well, well, I'm happy for you. Anyways, um, take a seat. Babe, um, we've been together for almost a year now. For some reason. I mean, like, these are the two polar opposites of personalities. I'm so grateful to have you in my life. I can't imagine my life without you. So, Bella, will you marry me? What is that? Are you kidding? That doesn't even look like a two carat ring. It's so small. Holy shit. It's not even like that husband in the last video is the worst guy and she's the worst girl in the world. She is just the worst person in the world, period. She tops bad husband. She has nothing but evil in her heart. This actress is so good at pulling off worst person in the universe. The way she delivers the, it's so small. <laughs> it hurts me so much. Maybe it's not how she's saying it that affects me so personally. Maybe it's what she's saying. I don't, I don't know. Look. Let's get one thing clear, okay? Your business is never gonna take off. And no, I am not going to marry you, and I'm not gonna be caught wearing that tiny diamond on my finger. You know what? Estefan was right. You're never gonna change. <gasps> As to who? Estefan. Who's Estefan? The other guy I'm seeing. You didn't seriously think I was gonna wait around until you get me the things that I really want. I mean, actually, kinda, yeah. I. What did you think, I was just gonna assume you would cheat? Like I'm a piece of shit for not expecting it? Who do you think got me this bag? I figured you bought it. What the fuck am I supposed to think? <laughs> Babe, please, have, have some faith. No. I am done. I need a real man who can satisfy my needs. John was devastated and couldn't believe that Bella had left him. I could. It was pretty fucking obvious. Bella ends up going to Estefan and having a really good time with her new guy. 
Meanwhile, John slowly got over the breakup and really focused on his business. Before long, John met someone new that believed in him and wasn't in it for the money. Bella, on the other hand, comes to visit Estefan only to find out he's buying expensive gifts for another girl. Her life started going down while John's started going up. By the look of the dress shirt, he got a job serving at TGI Fridays. You can only very rarely wear a black dress shirt and it look like you're dressing up and not make it look like you just started waiting tables. His business ends up taking off. Hey, his YouTube channel finally getting numbers. Then one day, they happen to run into each other. Oh my God, John. Hey, Bella. Long time no see. Wow, you look amazing. Once you add the tie and the rolled up sleeves to the equation, you no longer look like a waiter, and more so like you practice with a band three nights a week. I thought you didn't like Kate Spade. Oh, that's just for a friend. So, is this your car? Yeah, just picked it up. Pretty nice, right? Yeah. Also, we couldn't see it in the last video, but there's plenty of other videos with this same car in it. I can only assume is Darman's car, which now that I think about it, he's probably using in these videos so that he can use it as a tax write-off. Now that I say that out loud, that is most definitely what he's doing. Listen, I really can't stop thinking about you. I don't understand. Um, what about your new boyfriend, Stefan, the rich guy? Oh. That's over. He ended up... Anyway. Remember that ring you got me? I've been thinking, and actually, I'm, I'm really fine with hey, hey. this up. There she is. <laughs> hey. You look beautiful. Mm -hmm. And the plot thickens. Who would have expected this? Not me. Darman's complex storytelling caught me off guard this time. Stupid me. Oh, uh, let me introduce you. Bella, this is Rose. Rose Bella. We used to date like years ago. Hey, nice to meet you. I didn't realize you had a new girlfriend. Oh, <laughs> actually it's fiance. John proposed a week ago. Isn't it amazing? That's a big ring. That's character development. John finally stopped being a broke, dumb bitch. Now he can get the big ring. Do you get the message? I told him he didn't have to do so much. I want you to have everything you want in life, mm -hmm. babe. Aw, <laughs> thank you, baby. <laughs> Are you ready to go? Um, we're gonna be late for our dinner reservations. Right, we wouldn't want you missing <laughs> the steak and wine. Is there a restaurant called Steak and Wine? Or does nobody like just say Outback? Like with Denny's, nobody's just like, let's go get some eggs and toast. Or even better, <laughs> yeah, let's go get some steak and wine. Perfect, I have to work my shift there anyways. <laughs> I don't understand. What does she have that I don't? Well, she believed in me. You see, when you would get mad at- Here comes that sudden cut from boom mic to narration mic. You see, when you would get mad at me for not being able to buy you a designer bag. And when you would get upset at me when I couldn't buy you expensive dinners. Rose would get upset at me if I tried to take her out at all. No fucking wonder that John's business didn't take off. If he was as far into this whole business process as we were led to believe, him just being on a steps to starting a business image he probably found off Google Images. I don't blame Bella. Maybe she's actually not so wrong after all. A lot of people will show up during your success with their hand out, acting like you owe them something. But if someone doesn't believe in you during your worst, then don't let them celebrate with you during your best. Also, did you see that car? Wasn't it cool? That's my car. Thank you guys for watching. Well, I hope you guys learned as many life lessons as I learned in watching all of that. I'm glad I finally got to make this video. I've been wanting to do this video for a while now. So thank you for joining me on this ride. As always, if you liked the video, give it a like rating down below. It lets me know that you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you have any thoughts or opinions or really anything at all. And if you're new to this channel and you thought, wow, this was all right enough to where I made it to this part of the video. Thank you. And consider subscribing, hitting the notification bell, staying up to date on all of my uploads. I try to upload weekly here, but as viewers of the channel know, when I say try, uh, that is used very loosely. Anyways, thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to go follow me on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram. Instagram, don't really care as much, don't really post there, but TikTok and Twitter, the two Ts, go check those out. Links in the description below, and I will see you guys next week. Goodbye. Yeah.